Now we will see what is a transitive closure. It is denoted by the symbol R infinity. And before we get into the topic of transitive closure, we should know what is a digraph. Digraph is nothing but a directed graph. You have to construct the directed graph for the given relation. How I could construct this? Take vertices. How many vertices we have? Four vertices. So one, two, three and 4. Draw the vertices first. 4 vertices. And you have to, this is a vertices, otherwise call it as node. Now you have to draw the edge. Edge is nothing but take the first element, first ordered pair of elements in the relation are 1, 2, 2. So 1 will be travelled to 2. That is, there is a directed edge from 1 to 2. This may be called it as the edge or it may be an arc. From 2 I could traverse 3. So 2 from 2, I can reach 3. Then, next element is 3, 4. From 3, I should travel. I should start from 3 and I could move towards 4. So, that is a directed edge from 3 to 4. So, you have to put, uh, you have to put the arrow mark very carefully. Then, the last one is 2, 1. So, this direction is 1 to 2. What about 2, 1? You have to draw the other edge from 2 to 1. This is the way you will construct the digraph. Now, we will construct what is a transitive closure. And take the first vertex in the given set A. So, 1 is here. From 1, shall I reach 1 once again? Start from 1 and you travel, um, travel, to, uh, travel through some other vertex and reach 1 again. So, I start with the 1. I could travel to 2, from 1 to 2 it is possible, then from 2 it is once again you can reach 1. So from 1, I can start from 1, I could reach 1. So 1 comma 1. That is the first pair which is available in the, which, is, which could be placed in the transitive closure. Next one, from 1 I can reach 1. What about 1, 2? From 1 shall I reach 2? Shall I travel to Yes, it's possible. So, 1, 2 is possible. What about 1, 3? There is no di direct edge here, but I could traverse via 2. From 1 to 2, from 2 to 2, 2 3. So, one, if any, any person starts 1 means, it is, uh, he could reach 3 very easily. So, what is the answer here? 1, 2, 2. It is possible. Next one is 1, 2, 3. So, you can uh, write this ordered pair also. Next one. So, from 1 I could travel to 1. From 1 I could reach 2. From 1 I could reach 3. What about 1 comma 4? Is it possible? Yes, I could start from 1 and I could travel like this and I could travel like this and from 3 I could reach 4. So, from if, I, if any person start at the place 1, he could reach at 4. So, 1, 4 is also possible. Next. Now, take the next vertex 2. From 2. Where should I go? From 2, is it possible to reach 1? Yes, it is possible to reach 1. From 2, well, shall I start from 2 and I again reach 2? It is possible. 2 comma 2 is possible. Check. From 2, I could travel like this and then there is a direct edge here. So, if I start at the vertex 2, it is possible to reach 2 also. So, 2 is 2 comma 2 is possible. 2 comma 1 is also possible. From 2, I could go like this and I can come back and reach 2 again. So, 2, 2 is possible. What about 2, 3? It's possible. Yes, it is possible directly. And what about 2, 4? There is no directed edge which connects 2 and 4. So, you could travel via 3. So, 2, 4 is also possible. What is the next vertex? 1 is over, 2 is over. Next vertex is 3. So, take 3. From 3, I could reach 4. So, I can write 3, 4. Is it possible uh, to travel from 3 to anywhere? From 3, it is not at all possible to reach 2 or reach 1 or reach uh, 2 or reach 1. But I could reach 4 only. So, 3 to 4 is possible. I could not travel back. 3 to 2, 3 to 1 is not at all possible. Because we don't have a direction to travel from 3 to 2. We have only one direction from 2 to 3. Okay, then. Then what about 4? From 4, shall I go to 1, 2, 3? Is it possible? Is that there is no edge which starts from 4 and which is moving to 4 to 1, 4 to 2? Is it possible from 4? Uh, there is no possibility to reach 1. There is no possibility to reach 2. There is no possibility to reach 3. So that's all. This is my transitive closure. 
the next example to find the transitive closure and uh, the relation r is defined on a set a is set of elements 1 2 and 3 what we'll do first we'll first uh, draw the digraph directed graph how many vertices we have 1 2 and 3 so i'll name this one as 1 2 and 3 okay and draw the, these are the vertices are the uh, nodes then now we have to draw the edges otherwise it is called it as arc 1 to 2 so from 1 to 2 i can draw the directed edge then from 2 to 3 i can draw one edge then 3 comma 3 how can i draw this 3 comma 3 in the directed edge in the directed graph i can draw the loop like here okay then it shows that from 3 i could start and i can reach 3 so 3 to 3 is a directed edge here this is called it as a loop then we will construct what is a transitive closure r infinity how we will start i have drawn the directed edge here what's the first vertex one from one shall i reach one again shall i start one and traverse through some path and i can reach one is it possible no from one there is no possibility for one one what about one two is it is possible so one two is possible what about one three i could travel like this i could reach like this so one three is possible Next, start with the second vertex 2. From 2, is it possible to reach 1 back? No, there is no directed edge. From 2, is it possible to reach 2? No. From 2, I can reach only 3. So, 2 comma 3. That is a only one possibility. Now, come to the third vertex 3. What is the possibility? From 3, shall I reach 1? Shall I travel through some path and reach 1? No. Because if you go like this, there is no directed edge. And from 3, is it possible to go to 2? No, it is not possible to go to the vertex 2. So, in 3, I can reach 3 because of this loop. So, this is my 3, 3. This is my transitive closure. Thank you, students.